Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? For those of you guys who haven't joined a live stream with me before, this is the 27th episode of the Fate of Destiny live stream, which is pretty rad. Um, what I'll be trying to do is reading your username, which uh, sometimes I do pretty well and sometimes I mispronounce things pretty awfully, so cut me a little slack. Uh, and then I will read the comment or question and then respond to it. Usually that works out pretty well. Uh, there are some times where I'll take a little pause and read it, but I'll usually let you know what I'm doing so you're not sitting there going, what is she doing? Um, if you're having connection issues, usually it's enough to just um, refresh your browser, hit F5. As far as browsers grow, go. Chrome and Firefox seem to work a little bit better than some others, so maybe changing browsers is another option too. And... Yeah, I think that's it. From where is everybody tuning in? Y'all know I'm already out in freezing Wisconsin, where, P.S., it totally snowed for the third time this month today, and I'm not a happy camper about it. It makes me a sad face. Makes me a sad panda. All right. Oh, you have a bunch of people tuning in. Lee Nakasane, aloha all, just in time from swimming with the hammerheads, majestic creatures. Uh, please make us more jealous of your gorgeous weather. Seriously, that's really cool. Whoa, my comments just jumped really high, or uh, really fast. And a big hello to everybody. Ooh, also, if this is your first live stream or you're just kind of relatively new to it, getting used to how we do things, um, let me know and we'll say hello to you. Some of the names I, I'm seeing saying hello are... Ah, oh, Colleen Barnett. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you made it. Uh, Jofa Beats. Hello. Kenneth A. Fuller. Hi there. Jade. Ah, I haven't seen you in a bit. Or have I? Well, either way, glad you made it. Alessio Baldi. Oh, hi. Glad you could tune in. And hello, Gary Jordan and Todd Weigren and Dmitry Volkov and William Prophet and Eric Kamichik and Drew Smoke Johnson and Handgun Newbie and Dan Hare and anybody else I missed. There are already 50-some of you guys, which is totally awesome. Okay, I'm going to see. Now that some of you are, are telling me where you're tuning from where you're tuning in, I'll read it. Jade, Germany is here. Drew Smoke Johnson, Toledo, Ohio. Colleen Barnett, Snowy Kentucky is in the house. Dan Harrow, Freezing Illinois. D Handgun Newbie, Snowtastic, Wisconsin. There's nothing fantastic about snow. All right, um, Jofa Beats, Northeast Ohio, snowing here now. Gary Jordan, Ohio, we got snow too. Tom Taylor, hello from Cincinnati. Uh, Paul G, Key Largo, Florida, Dave Morgan, Oregon, Bill Fenton, Twin Cities. Um, Dmitry Volkov, don't cry for me, but Saskatchewan. Jesse Vander Hayden, Siberia, oh wait, no, still Wisconsin. William Prophet, Richmond, Virginia. Jason Meyer, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Oh my goodness, so it looks like I'm not the only one suffering through cold weather. Yay! Oh, Scott Ham says, hi, first live chat. Watch the old ones on YouTube. Well, welcome. I hope you have fun. Everybody say hello to Scott. Um, Matthew James Stoddard. Hey, how's it going? I couldn't make it last week because my grand died and I had to head up to Hawks Bay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Gary Jordan. I'm a newbie. Well, hello, Gary. All right. Oh, Dan Harrow says, what's up, Des and D-O-D? -D? Uh, for those of you guys who are newer, I oftentimes have my dad sit in on these uh, conversations, watching comments. He makes sure that we don't have trolls, you know, trying to bring their silly nonsense to our fun conversations, which really is, hasn't been a problem for us. Some, And he makes sure that I don't, like, miss important comments or anything. He's just kind of chilling out in the background. Jose Sosa, Orlando, we're at 75 right now. 
Mm. Yeah, color me jealous. Eric Cuison. Philippines. Well, that's cool. I don't know that we've had someone join from the Philippines before. That's pretty rad. Oh, um, so I've posted a couple of, well, I posted an article about this, and one of one other contributor from the Arbs Guide posted another, col ar another article, I swear I can speak English, about this. Uh, what do you guys think of that uh, knockout game? If you check out thearmsguide.com, the first post that Jay wrote has to do, he brought up some self-defense tips to kind of keep aware to avoid this game, and I posted an update of people who have already um, been victim to this game. So check out the posts uh, for more information about the whole the whole story. But um, I'm hearing some... I'm, what's sad to me is to hear how much it's spreading and how it's become so popular, for lack of a better word. Oh, Lee Nakasane. Dest, I liked your article about the knockout game going on on the mainland. I hope it never comes here to Hawaii. <laughs> Alessio Baldi. I waved back. Jennifer Young. I'm so tired of the media calling it a game. It's not a game. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think that's a... Any um, pastime that involves violence um, is not something that I would ever consider to be a game, nor something that I would... It's also something that I take very seriously. Um, Dmitry Volkov just said, Hey, okay, I missed something. May I ask what it is? Uh, well, there are a group of youths, or there are groups of youths, generally teenagers around, around that age, who single out this random, a random victim, a random target, and they go and try to knock them out. It's kind of not cool, kind of super not cool. So I have some more conversation about that, or more discussion of that, on the post, the two posts on the arms guide, if you wanted a little bit more information. But just in general, I think it's unfortunate. Uh, Bradley says, knockout game, dot, 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 dot. Quick way for someone to lose their life if confronted by an armed individual. Drew Smoke Johnson, it's going to take someone to not get knocked out and probably shoot afterward for people to stop. Um, I, there have been people already who have utilized that exact response. There was a concealed carrier in Michigan. I want to say around Lansing, but I don't remember the city for sure, but it's definitely Michigan, where he was waiting for his daughter at the uh, to pick her up at her bus stop, and this uh, group of teenagers had already picked him out and decided they were going to... Um, try to knock him out but this kid had this stun gun right not like the taser but an a stun gun that it's a contact um electric tool and it's supposed to give you a shock that's supposed to be pretty painful and the idea is that you deter whatever you whoever you're using or forever whoever you're attacking with um you use this to zap somebody it hurts they stop there we go and, uh, well, this kid goes up to this, this dad that he picked out, and he tried to zap him in the back. Or he got him, like, in the side. And this thing has prongs, right? So that it can electrocute you, basically. It's, I think the model has put, that he was using generates over a million volts or something crazy like that. But, um, not so cool. And it didn't work right off the bat, but it's still sharp, so this dad thinks he's getting stabbed. So his response is, holy cow, somebody is trying to like stab me in the back, not cool, draws his concealed carry firearm, shoots the kid. And luckily the kid was running, turning, well luckily for the kid, the kid was running away, and he uh, got tagged in the buttock. And that was enough for the whole the whole situation to, to stop. The guy called the cops, 911 picked up the kid, I guess the kid's serving some jail time right now from the last update I read. Everybody survived in this instance, but I have I have read some other reports of um, kids doing this, and uh, the victims that they've chosen haven't survived. Jake Lohman, there's no way to prevent it, but situational awareness can help you to avoid it. Eric Cuisson, 
Colleen Barnett. Yes, very sweet young lady. Thank Colleen. Wow, that's very nice of you. I think she's going back to the U.S. in a few weeks. Oh, I think I missed some of that previous conversation. Whoops. Oh, here we go. Here's the be the beginning. Eric Kamichik says, Eric, I love Shannon too. I believe they're referring to Shannon from Youth Too Wild, who we visited for an FOD Blitz before. And Colleen says, yes, I think you were right, Eric. Hope to meet her. There we go. Now we're a little caught up on that conversation. Dmitry Volkov says, sounds like a lack of parenting, no discipline at home. Um, Lena Kostane says, aloha to all newbies on the live stream. Yay! <laughs> Scott Messino shot him in the butt and ski. But um, psh. Uh, for those of you who missed the reference, I have a, a character that I bring out for some of my YouTube videos. We call her Miss Budinsky. And she is, I guess, your typical, um, like, college-age anti-gun liberal. And so, um, she's a fun character. And Dan Herr, what is this FOD blitz you speak of, evil grin and winks? We'll do the we'll blitz later, and I will give a whole rundown on, on all that fun stuff. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten it. Promise. Lena Kausane, I thank my military training for instilling in me natural situational awareness. It is constantly on autopilot. Yeah, that's something that we talked a whole lot about um, in martial arts, which I took a whole ton of martial arts classes as a kid, and that was always like the biggest... Um, value that they wanted to instill in us was that the best way to avoid finding yourself in some kind of self-defense situation is to, you know, avoid it entirely instead of, you know, finding the best way out of it, you know. Del Reed, surprisingly, some parents of these kids don't think they should be punished because they are, quote, just boys being boys. Yeah, if I had had that kind of behavior as a kid, I'm pretty sure my parents would have laid down the law. They wouldn't have put up with that, that kind of behavior. <laughs> Jennifer Young, FOD Blitz? It's nothing, really. Somebody makes a comment on a video. It's really not that much fun. Mmm. Wink, wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Uh, Carrie, hello, Des from Morgan Hill, California. First time live, woot. Well, everybody say hello to Carrie then. Welcome. I hope you have fun. Mm. <laughs> Joe Fabit says, Miss Badinsky needs to make another appearance soon. Yeah, that too. Her and a few of my other characters. I really like Molly. Molly's one of the most fun characters I use with uh, my YouTube videos. I guess she's from Jersey and shoots gum, shoots guns. Pretty cool. She's sassy. Moon Clipper forty five. A Budinsky isn't that? Is that really what that telephone? Wow. A Budins A Budinsky is really that little telephone carried by the guys slash gals that install and repair line types of telephones and stuff. Is it? I just made it up. <laughs> All right, let me read some more comments here. Ugla hell, kid? Well, some people want to call them thugs. What I when I say kid, I refer to someone who or what I mean specifically is the fact that these are um teenagers. And this is a a way that they're they're trying to uh, amuse themselves with their point them out, knock them out or Whatever derivation. Scott Messino, did you get a new trigger yet for your DDM4? No, I haven't. Although I've read some awesome reviews on Geisley triggers lately, that makes me just want one that much more. I have shot them already, so they're already kind of on my list, but yeah. One of these days, maybe for Christmas or something. Dmitry Volkov, here's a gun question. Has anybody seen FX Hummel's green SIG? Looks like a John Deere pistol. Huh. <laughs> 
Um, what do you guys think about uh, colored guns, by the way? I know there's a lot of different uh, opinions, but green or like for, they sell to a lot, of, or they try to sell for a lot of women, the pink guns. Ah, oh, Keith Holden, do you or your dad reload? Not yet. I'm often asked that question, and it's definitely a goal of mine, you know, for down the road to save up and get some reloading equipment and start reloading, especially with how often I shoot. I know I could see a benefit from it, but it's getting started. That's always my, my biggest hurdle. <laughs> Sorry, talking is thirsty work, and I have some delicious lemonade today. Mm, Moon Clipper 45. Do you base your quote characters end quote on real people destiny? Sometimes I do. Sometimes they're just kind of um, figments of my imagination, if you will. The Miss Budinsky character, though, is definitely based on um, people, specifically one person, or especially one person, but uh, definitely people I have met in real life. I never have to look far for material for her because I just draw on actual conversations that I've had with people. So that's part of the fun of that character for me. Ooh, Rob Russo. So I shot my new stair all at the range this weekend. It grouped one half inch at 100 yards. Vanessa, I love those things. They're definitely on my do want list. Huh? One of these days. Dmitry Volkov, one of the guys in our local three gun group has a burn your eyes yellow AR with blue furniture. Looks hilarious, but he's a damn good shooter. Oh, that kind of makes me think of Wolverine, you know, like from the the cartoon and the and stuff where he's got the yellow and blue. That's definitely fun. I would probably have to name my gun Wolverine if I had had it in those colors. Jennifer Young, I prefer to keep the guns the color they are intended, but my gear is all purple. Ah, purple is one of my favorites. Jade says, Jennifer, purple kind of reminds me of the Third Street Saints. I don't have any colored guns. I haven't put a whole ton of thought into it because I just plain like the way the black anodized look looks or stainless. If I'm going, you know, if I'm looking at handguns, there's something about that, like a satin stainless finish that I just love. Uh, Scott Messino, don't mention it's Michigan colors. Oh, yeah, I suppose that's right, isn't it? Michigan State? I can't remember which one. FJ Karen says, hi, Destiny. Well, hello, FJ. How you doing? Dmitry Volkov, so your Vaqueros will be stainless. That is a really great guess. Um, I would love stainless Vaqueros. I do like a blued, uh, blued guns, though. I do like the look of them. It's really close. I think I slightly prefer stainless. It's funny, when I first got into, um, when I started purchasing more of my own firearms, I thought to myself, oh man, stainless looks so cool. There's no way I'm going to own any kind of like blued guns. Very first gun I bought was that Kimber, and it has a, or my Kimber Sys Pro 1911, and it has the Kim Pro finish, which it's not blued, but it is a, like a dark, uh, no glare kind of finish. And then I ended up getting the M9, which also definitely not stainless. So I guess I've um, developed kind of a fondness for it. I do like my stainless guns though. So I guess if I have the option and it's not something I'm planning to conceal carry, then I definitely like a little bit of gun bling. Ugla hell. After seeing a pink 870, I grew insensitive to colored guns. That would, I would have to, I would chuckle at that. To be perfectly honest, I would definitely chuckle at that. That's silly. I don't prefer pink. I only wear it like once in a blue moon. I guess I don't hate it, hate it, but I would never buy a pink gun. If I'm going to get colored, I'd probably go with like blue. Blue's my favorite. Or purple. Purple's like second favorite. It's right up there. Yeah, that is a really great, uh, I, uh, my dad just brought up something that I've also seen other people mention as a reason why they don't like colored guns. Um, they, there is a concern, there may be a concern for some people as our guns get more colorful, 
do they start looking more toy-like and is that a problem? I guess that's up to you to decide, but I'm curious what your feedback is. FJ Karen, a yellow and blue gun? You'll stand out on the battlefield. I have two rifles that aren't black. The AUG is green and the Tavor is desert tan. Oh, you have a Tavor? Jealous. You are rocking that bullpup scene. I don't have any bullpups yet. How sad is that? I think it's pretty sad. It's something that needs to be remedied, I'm pretty sure. Scott Hams, I just picked up a Glock that had the slide laser engraved in a digital camo. Well, that's pretty cool. LSU Baldi says, my internet connection sucks. Oh, I'm... Um, I was going to say something and I totally forgot what it was, so it must not have been very important. Oh, okay, I remembered. For those of you who can't make the entire hour and a half of the conversation, that's totally cool. That's part of why I pulled the chat for an hour and a half, to try to make it easier for people to squeeze in some part of it into their crazy schedules. But if you want to get caught up, I do post the uh, live stream on YouTube after it's you know live it's not as much fun but if you wonder what happened after you had to go leave to pick up your kid or go to work or go to sleep or whatever you can get caught up if you like <laughs> Scott Messino says how many Scots are in this chat such a popular and trendy name wink Timothy John Larson said oh wait first there's the one that um, precedes that. Apple iPhone says, I've seen a, a blue Remington VTR here in Sweden. Had a very interesting stock on it, and the guy could open carry it without people bugging him. Timothy John Larson says, I agree, looking like toys would not be good in my opinion. Yeah, I guess there's a little bit of a balance to strike. I mean, it's, I love the option to be able to personalize my firearms. That's wonderful. Like uh, putting VZ grips on my M9, you know. I wonder if maybe there's a nice balance for getting like colorful furniture, or colorful accessories, but then having the gun metal stay the original color. I don't know. Another issue I have with them getting colors is like with Duracoat and with Cerakote. The more you use it, the more wear you start to notice. So I definitely wouldn't want it for a carry gun. But, I don't know. That's just my own two cents on it. Rob Russo, how do you set up a webcam show like this? Do you pay to do it on live stream or is an account free? Um, they live stream offers two different options. So if you want to go with a free option, you can do that. And they have different paid options if you want to look into that too. A lot of variety if, you, if you're interested in looking for something different. I mean, beyond Google Hangouts, that is. Eric Kamichik says, Pink guns are good for the security guards of the Willy Wonka factory. Um, I prefer live stream to Google Hangout for a couple of reasons. For the most important reason to me is the quality of the streaming. I've been on a lot of Google Hangouts where my connection will just drop or the quality of the image will drop, and also the uh, feedback for reading the comments. When, between the time you write a comment and I read it is about three seconds. So the delay is really hard to beat as far as like live streams connection. It just seems to be a little bit better for a one-on-one -on -one kind of conversation with me and you guys. So the audio um, seems like it doesn't skip as much as the video. The video if you listen, listen to it while it's being broadcast. It seems like it's streaming at 15 frames per second instead of 30. It's very choppy. Like yeah. They're broadcasting from the service in the moon or something. Yeah, Dad would just brought up some of the same like issues that I have with using uh, Google Hangouts. Is that sometimes the audio and the video will be um, off and, or it'll skip. Um, but having off sync video and audio always like that bugs me. I've been on a number of chats where, like, one of the users or everybody has maybe their video is ahead of their audio and you're trying to match it up while you're watching and it just, um, it's off-putting for me as a viewer as well as for me um, 
being involved in the conversation. So I just prefer live stream. I've had a lot better luck with it and um, seems to be working for us. I mean, we have 76 people tuning in right now, which is rad. And we've been keeping it up for a while now. I think we've hit like this six month period been a while enough that it's become like a, a part of my normal weekly routine which is cool fj karen says google messed up youtube with their requirement to be on google plus to reply to comments that is what is fun about having a channel and putting up videos it's the interaction yeah, except for the trolls yeah they're always going to be those unfortunately i mean i learned really quickly to just not engage them at all <laughs> it's funny though like the first like I don't know, a couple of months that my videos started getting more hits than just, you know, outside of just my family or my friends watching. And I would talk to my dad and be like, why would somebody say this like crazy, violent, mean, awful thing to me? I don't even know them. And he basically, you know, kind of took me aside and said, hey, you know, Des, this is just how some people are. Welcome to the internet. Don't take it personally. And having that attitude of just, you know, silly people are going to say silly things has allowed me to hang in on YouTube for three years. Dan Herrer, I prefer FOD Live. The other option is just FOD. Wink. Yeah, it's more fun having the live conversations. I definitely feel like I'm just like hanging out with my friends through the computer, but still. Google Hangouts end up being a panel discussion. True. Not a one -on -one conversation. Yeah. Um, Dad, I don't know if you guys can hear him, so I'm just repeating it in case you can't. Uh, Dad mentioned that Google Hangouts, because he watches a lot more of them than I do. A lot of times I'm the one participating. But anyway, he says they end up being more like um, panel discussions instead of one on one conversations. And I've definitely seen that trend too, especially with when you have a bunch of commenters who are feeling or who are submitting comments and questions and then you have oftentimes it's the person who like is hosting the chat will field those comments but a lot of times it just ends up being that group of youtubers talking with each other which can still be cool you know there's still totally benefit of that but it's not exactly what i was going for with the whole live conversation element to to what i do on the internet i wanted to be able to like hang out with you guys and chat so me chatting with other YouTubers is something I already do, you know. Drew Smoke Johnson says, if I miss, I listen to it at work. Then get asked, what are you smiling and laughing about? Tee -hee. Don't get in trouble. I would feel so awful if you got in trouble because you're trying to watch my, <laughs> my live stream. It is kind of cool, though, that you can stream it at work. That's neat. Uh, Colleen Barnett says, Alessio and Matthew, I'm with you. Mine is terrible too. Referring to internet connection, that is. Can't feel well enough, can't feed well enough for the convo to even make sense. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, shoot. Oh, Jake Loman has a question real quick. Destiny, how long have you been making vids on YouTube? Uh, the end of December will mark three whole years, which is nuts in the most lovely way possible. Like uh, many people's YouTube channels, it just started off as like a, I don't know, a spur of the moment decision of this will be fun and then it just kept on being fun and well, now I can't see not making videos and hanging out with people through the interwebs and shooting, making fun videos about it. It's, I guess I would say it's addictive, but in a good way. It's such a fun process. Um, Dmitry Volkov says, I'm glad Dad of Destiny, or DOD, patrols the chat. It keeps the creepers out and the conversation good. Yeah, one of the things I also appreciate is once in a while, you guys are really, really awesome about this, so first I want to give you my thanks and appreciation, but once in a while we'll have somebody who, I don't know, maybe they've just, uh, something gets under their skin and they'll start arguing, and... I like to try and foster a friendly and fun kind of um, forum for people to talk about stuff, even if they have differing opinions. And I can't always stay on top of 
you know, monitoring that kind of stuff on the text chat while I'm sitting here talking to you. I mean, I can, you know, I'm a girl. I can multitask. Yes, that was a joke. But, oh, by the way, Jennifer, Dad says that he saw that you're leaving. So, bye. Thanks for joining for a little bit. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, so Dad sometimes will step in and make sure people don't start hurting each other's feelings. Because that's not what I'm about. I just dropped my cap to my water bottle. Oops. Okie doke. Next. Lena Cassane. P-Mags rock. I never use Stanag magazines. Magazines. Except for range use. Yeah, I use P-Mags a lot. I think I have, like, maybe one steel mag or two. I pretty much just started off with the P-Mags and... I liked him so much and never felt the need to go out and find anything different. It's funny because I know people are exactly the op who are exactly the opposite. They prefer only the like GI, you know, mags or whatever. But I don't know. It works for me. I'm not knocking anything else. Colleen Barnett says, Good night, everyone. I'm bowing out. Can't feed. God bless you all. Aw, well, thanks for tuning in for a little bit. I was happy to see ya. <laughs> Jofa Beats, D O D, peacekeeper of the interwebs. Ugla Hell says, Des, how do you come up with ideas for your videos? Aw, oh, man, I got a jillion of them. Um, because YouTube is such a big hobby for me, it, it, the videos that I make stem from the interests that I have. So if I'm maybe out at the range and I'm shooting an a my AR, like uh, I have a DDM4 V7 upper mounted on uh, an LMT lower, and so maybe I'll just notice something in particular about how it's shooting or whatever. And I decide, you know what, maybe I should make a video about it. Or sometimes I'll just have uh, funny or silly ideas. And I might bounce those off of somebody like my dad or my brother. And be like, hey, I have this idea to do a gun safety video and dance. Sometimes um, the silly stuff makes it in. Sometimes it doesn't. But basically, it's just an extension of what's fun for me. The, my main goal with my YouTube videos is to have fun with the production, with the recording, and with sharing them with people. So, because I have a lot of fun with the shooting sports, I don't really struggle coming up with ideas to, to put videos together. Um, where I struggle is finding the time to make videos on all the ideas that I have. And as long as my videos stay fun for me, I figure that means I'm doing something right. Because if YouTube videos aren't fun, gosh, that's a whole lot of work for me to be doing for something I don't enjoy. If that ever happens, which I don't see that happening anytime soon, that would probably be my, my indicator to not make YouTube videos anymore. Oh gosh, it's the fellow whose YouTube name I could never pronounce. Um, Apple. Nope, not Apple iPhone, the one underneath it. A-C-H-I-G-U-R-H. -H. I don't know how to say that at all. I say it like eight different ways when I read it in my head, and I feel like an idiot with every different pronunciation. You try it on Atchiker? Oh, yeah. Anyway, he asked what I'm drinking. Lemonade! I know it's in a bottle that says cherry limeade, which, by the way, cherry limeade is delicious. But I like to reuse my bottles. Get a little bit... Um, more use out of them before I toss them. Thor Shane says, okay, now I'm really back. I'm sure you're all really concerned about my absence. We missed you. Welcome back. Apple iPhone says, Des, you should do a show. Talk about bullets and calibers. Grab some of the ammo you like most. Hmm. I have a... Actually, I think I only have one article about that. That's another idea that I've a lot of the ideas that I have for videos, if I don't make them into videos, a lot of times I'll make them into articles. So if you like the stuff that's on my YouTube videos, you'll definitely like the stuff that's on thearmsguide.com. Plus, I have a group of really awesome people with whom I work, and they have some fabulous ideas for talking about guns and gear, too. So There's generally something for everybody over there. Scott Messino says, there are poop mags, and then there's pee mags. That's, 
that's special. I just trademarked this. He says, I just trademarked this, so don't get any t-shirt ideas. <laughs> no, no worries, man. Your, your idea is safe. Alessio Baldi. LOL, Destiny is so far the only American that can pronounce my name. Almost correctly. Most spell it A-L-E-X-I-O. Alexio? That's silly. A workmate of mine goes directly for yo. Uh, yeah. Aww. Womp womp. I guess I've been told by uh, many people that I have a particularly unique name. So most, but most people know how to pronounce it. Most people just don't know how to spell it. They just assume it's D-E-S-T-I-N-Y when it's E-E -E at the end instead. So I have a lifetime of people misspelling my name. Usually I'm like pretty okay with it, but once in a while it'll be like, really? I have it spelled out right there and you spelled it wrong. Come on, come on. But that's only once in a while. Um, Aussie Wombat says, Hi, Des and Dad of Des. Sorry, running late today. Well, glad you can make it. How are you doing? Dirk Diggler says, Can you make a living doing YouTube videos? Uh, yeah, it's possible. Oh, first, Dmitry Volkov says, Gotta run all. Stay safe out there, and thanks for chatting tonight. Bye, Dmitry. Have a lovely evening. Okay, back to Dirk's question. Yes, it is possible to make a living during YouTube videos, or making YouTube videos, but, um... It's difficult. It's really difficult. I don't make my, my full living off of YouTube. I make my living off of being the managing editor for the Arms Guide. There are people YouTube's with... Sure. Yeah, YouTube's definitely a supplement. It just kind of helps me run the channel. If I were making videos just for the money, though, oh my gosh, it's like slave labor. But the people who make their living off of YouTube generally are the ones who have, like, a million or... 3 million or 5 million subscribers where their views are just just through the roof and more often than not they're joined with a network and they spend not just 40 hours a week but 70 hours 80 hours a week working on videos and networking with people and publishing content and stuff so yeah short answer you can do it but it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to to get to that kind of point and you gotta have content that's going to be that's going to appeal to a very huge audience so all right next question or comment rather oh walker armory says got a bail had fun watching see you next week bye walker <laughs> and gonubi says get out of here walker Okay, uh, Thorna Shane, don't know if you caught my question on Facebook. Do you and the other tubers have any contingency in case YouTube evicts the gun community now that Young Guns is gone? Um, well, I can't speak for, you know, everybody else in the community. Um, I work, like my, like I mentioned before, my main income is through writing. So that's my, that's what I do and I absolutely love what I do, which is why, you know, I'm so involved with that. Um, but yeah, my YouTube is definitely a supplement. If I lose the supplement, you know, that's a bummer. That would kind of, you know, because it's fun and I, I like being involved with that. But yeah, I mean, I guess if it, if there was no more YouTube, I don't, I don't know. I mean, if I didn't get AdSense for them, I'd still make videos just because I really enjoy it. That's what I was. That's yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah, you, you just said if there was no more YouTube. I meant, I, I should have been more specific. Um, if there were no, there was there was no money for making uh, gun YouTube videos or gun videos were banned, because there are some people who are very concerned that you know, with Google being a more liberally minded company, that they're going to, um, ban anything you know, any videos to do with firearms. And if that were to happen, I would not, obviously I'd be, uh, if I can't make firearms videos without being, you know, being able to publish them, or publish them, yeah, I probably wouldn't publish them, but I would still make videos even without AdSense because it's fun for me. Uh, 
Okay. Um, oh, Shorty Brody says there's Vimeo. Yeah, so there are some alternative sites. I mean, YouTube is definitely um, the most, if, if, or one of the most, if not the most popular video sharing website, but there are others out there. Uh, Donald, uh, Donald Broughton. Destiny, speaking of names, try being on a military base and have someone say Mr. Rotten. You are next instead of Mr. Roten. Oh, so I have been pronouncing it sort of right, right? Oh, you told me how to pronounce this one. Glenn McGilvray? I think that's pretty close anyway. My internet is acting up. I have to watch you five minutes or so in the past. I can't make a relevant comment, but hi. Hi! Thanks for joining the chat, even if it isn't um, updating in real time for you. Eric Kamuchik says, but if you don't make videos, we're going to miss you so much. Well, I'm not worried about it, at least not in the near future. If that if it happens, it happens. But I'm having fun right now, and that's enough for me. Oh, here's an idea. Paul G says the NRA should start a gun-friendly video streaming service. It would help fund their cause. That'd be fun, for sure. Jofa Beats says no one stays on top forever. Google should be careful. Yeah, you gotta be uh, innovative. Hmm, Bradley says, if I'd say if YouTube kicked videos, then Tag would be a good place to migrate to. Yeah, if we could host videos on Tag, that'd be pretty rad. Hmm. Alessio Baldi has a wonderful question here. What about FOD 2.0? When will we have further info? This Thursday. So, um... I am changing things up with the way, or with my videos and the way I run my, my YouTube channel. I figure I've been, you know, doing this for three years now, and I want to keep it fresh and interesting and fun and different. So, I'm going to be doing something very different, doing things very different. And that's going to start this week. Chris says, FOD, five minutes in the past is much better than no FOD. Mm -mm. Jofa Beat says, FOD 2.0, plus one. You guys in your plus ones. Ah, Donald Routon says, Destiny, it sounds like Routon. I can remember that, hopefully. I should be able to remember that. Cross your fingers. Keith Holden says, my son Dylan says hi. Hello, Dylan and Keith. Del Reed says, I did a search on your name for images today. There are tons of them out there. Who says you aren't famous, right, everyone? Uh, I'm not really famous. I mean, not even am I internet famous, because there's such a tiny corner of the internet that's on YouTube that watches gun videos and who knows who I am. So I, I don't have any kind of ego associated with my, my YouTube channel or my um, presence on the internet. I mean, I'm just one of those girls, you know, girl next door types. And I happen to have a bunch of friends who I get to talk to about the shooting sports. That's awesome. Oh, Shoot Fast Fun says, hi guys. Hello. Jofa Beats, Thursday is Thanksgiving. Your vid's still going live on Thursday this week? Yep. Still going to publish it. It'll be my happy Thanksgiving video or something. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I want to keep with my schedule. Even so. You have a backlog, so. Yeah, I can afford to do that. Um, Al Luck says, 2.0 sounds cool. Yes. <laughs> Bradley says, FOD 2.0. All Molly, all the time? Well, you'll just <laughs> have to see. You only have two more days to wait. Scott Messino, is this going to be like Tosh 2.0? Will you be making smarmy comments while watching gun accident blooper reels? <laughs> if so, count me in. <laughs> Nice. Um, I mean, I'm still me. I'm, I'm not out to, like, hurt people's feelings, but uh, I'm going to do some different stuff, so you'll just have to see. Uh, Jofa Beats says, hi, Sam. Chris, stalker live stream. Um, yeah, especially people who are newer. Can we do a live stream for Oh my god, live stream for 24 hours a day? That would be... No. 
<laughs> just no. I need some alone time sometimes to not like have people looking at me. Yeah. Like the times where I'm not wearing makeup or not, or, or wearing PJs or whatever. Like, nobody needs to see that. My crazy hair, like, all over the place. No. <laughs> Just no. Friedrich Bonnenman says, OMG, I have to deal with the possibility of change from deaths? <gasps> Something's wrong with the house! I don't like change! Uh, Charger8924. Anyone else here having problems with their nose? Um, no? At least I hope not. Del Reed says, We love the girl next door type that loves to shoot. Yay! Well, then you have a friend in me. Jofa Beats, cool. You may see a slower hit tally, being that it's a holiday. Yeah, I would figure. You didn't even really watch the numbers, do you? Nope. I don't watch my numbers at all, really. <laughs> What's funny is the only the only time I notice I'm about to hit a subscriber like milestone with the channel is because somebody will send me a PM or a comment, or actually it's usually multiple people, either on my Facebook or uh, YouTube or whatever. They'll send me a message saying, oh, hey, I see that you're almost up to... However many subscribers, great job. And then I'll go and check it out. And I'm always pleasantly surprised. I think that's part of what keeps YouTube fun for me as well, too, is that I'm not, like, agonizing over, oh, my God, only so many people saw my video. I'm not going to be Internet fans. Ah! You know, it's just, you know, having fun. And Drew Smoke Johnson, I love my PJs. I'm forever in PJs. Oh, well, um, I'm a writer. And I work from home, so I probably spend, yeah, um, more time than your average bear in jammies. We'll just, we'll just leave it at that. Donald, uh, Routen. I did it right, right? Uh, Des, did you get my question about holster shirts before we talked about my name? I missed that. Thank you for mentioning it again. I use 5'11 holster shirts with a zipper front shirt. Ask if anyone else has tried this method of carry. Has anyone else tried this method of carry? I have seen those shirts. Um, I ha don't have any personally because I have found they those shirts don't work as super well with um, female figures. For <laughs> them um, to get nice and awkward. Also, uh, any general method of carry that positions the firearm around the like armpit area, it just is very difficult for me to to make effective. It ends up just it doesn't work. We'll just say that. But for a lot of other folks, that works really great. Okay, let me read some more here. Oh man, sorry. I was reading a comment and then it just it jumped on me. Shoot fast fun. My dad works from home. Please don't tell him he can wear his PJs all day. Wear your PJs all day. PJs are the best, man. <laughs> now look, are they tactical PJs? Um, no. Just, just no. They're comfy though. We're like... Big baggy t-shirts and big baggy sleep pants. I actually have like dude sleep pants because they're more comfortable a lot of times than girl ones. So I just buy them in like small or extra small to make sure they fit around my waist and it's awesome. Shoot Fast Bun says, I'm afraid they would be commando PJs. No! Ugh. Okay, if that were the case, I would be quite concerned about wearing jammies as well. Eric Kamichik, Joe, I saw people go uh, to Walmart only in underwear. Ooh, here's a gun-related question. Bradley says, I use, or comment rather, I use the 5.11 tacked trainer belt and love it. Most comfortable belt I've ever had. I have a 5.11 gun belt as well. <laughs> Joe for beats. Hopefully you're not one of those people who wears their PJs to Walmart. That, like, that's bad? Oh. Um, Lena Kasane, exposure does come with a price. You expose yourself to the world, you're bound to get a few fans. Ah, oh. 
What? It depends on the kind of exposure. The exposure, so to speak, that I have through the internet does um, remove a little bit of my privacy, which is, you know, a downside. I have, because there are people who want to know, you know, all sorts of personal info about me because they found me on the internet. But, you know, I, I'm lucky. That's, I guess, why I'm lucky I'm not, like, famous. I don't have any kind of, like, paparazzi or, or crazy stuff like that. I just have, sometimes when I go to the range have people who recognize me and then I blush because I'm really shy. Uh, Bradley, so, how many of you are doing battle on Black Friday? I intend to be one of those battling the cold in line at Cabela's for my envelope. Ah, uh, good luck. Here's that username I can never pronounce. At Chicker. FOD 2.0 ideas. Jousting! You'd create a nice niche for yourself. Gosh, that would be a niche indeed. Alessio Baldi, come as you are, as you were, as I want you to be, as a friend, as a friend, as an old enemy. You and your song lyrics that I don't recognize. <laughs> Uh, Schrody Birdie, be careful with jammies, as they can lead to onesies. They can lead to animal print onesies, which are a gateway to becoming a furry. Um, a gateway drug to becoming a furry. Um, yeah, I don't know about that. Unless you, Baldi. That's not PJs, it's a ninja suit! Bradley, privacy issues, dot dot dot. That's why Dad of Destiny lurks in the shadows. <laughs> Joe for Beats, does your family have a nickname for you? Dest, Dest, PJ Monster? Oh, oh gosh, I have so many nicknames. I think most of my family members generally call me Dest or Dest with a T at the end. Um, yeah, yeah. Dad usually calls me Dest. There was a time where for like, gosh, like 15 years where my brother only called me Dest. But now he, call, he calls me Des without the T. So I guess that's part of our transitioning into our adult lives is he calls me Des now. I have some people who call me like Desi, which is okay, I suppose. Oh my God. People who don't know how to pronounce my name call me Desiree. I, my own grandmother... Um, has often called me Desiree, which just cracks me up, because she's not old enough to be senile. She just, I don't know. She's like, well, I like Desiree. <laughs> That's nice, Grandma. It's still not my name, but thanks. <laughs> but, you know. Oh, I have a lot of people who call me just plain D. That works for me, too. I guess because I have such a long name. Eight letters. It kind of lends itself well to... Lots of different nicknames. And because I get so many nicknames, it's kind of fun for me. It's, you know, a little bit of a game. But, yeah. Um, maybe we should do some show and tell. Let's see. I have a couple of things here. Oh, I know what I was going to show. Give me two seconds. I got to move my capless water out of the way. This thing is heavy. I have a new toy! Courtesy of Shoot Steel, I have a new target. So this is a little popper. And it's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't, obviously, I mean, it's still in some of its packaging, so I haven't yet taken it to the range. Holy good word, that is heavy. Let's see. This says that I can use it with 308 and smaller rifles at 100 yards or more. And although it was not designed for handguns, I can use it for handguns, but as long as the minimum distance is 25 yards, which is kind of like the outer range of what I normally shoot. But yeah, so that will be fun. Do any of you guys shoot steel, by the way? Because I know some ranges have steel. Some people have their own land, so they can do whatever, you know, shoot whatever they like, which I totally wish I could do whatever, but I'm lucky that I do have a place I can shoot steel. And Bradley says, Popper! Yeah! Popper indeed! Timothy John Larson, nice! Can't wait to shoot some steel! William Provitt, cool target, thank you! 
I have to thank shootsteel.com for sending it to me, so I get to uh, do a little bit of vi little bit of video on it. Joe for beat, send it to Hickok for testing. No, I want to test it. <laughs> Jade says, Joe, if she does that, she'll get it back perforated. See. Uh, Friedrich Bonnenman says, wow, awesome desk, rifle caliber too. Yeah, I am definitely looking forward to that. Oh man, this is really chilly. This is, it's, I had my arm resting on it and I realized steel holds cold very well. And apparently my floor is cold. Uh, Bradley, isn't Shoot Steel based in Minnesota? I believe they are, yes. I'm like 90% sure. Go double check it, but still, I'm pretty sure. Scott Mazzino, yeah, steel. I live in Hicksville. Uh, Destiny, or Donald Routon says, Destiny, I sent you an email on, on Facebook. I lived in Spain for two years, and in Spain for two years. Whoops. And my first name is Donald. It was pronounced Donaldo. I guess because my name is Destiny, it would be Destina. But, um, or if you were to use my name in Spanish, but because they, they have the right phonetics, Destiny just works pretty well. I had a friend, though, her name was um, Natasha, but uh, she had a lot of Spanish-speaking friends, but they don't have the SH sound in the Spanish language. It's just not a not one, one of the phonetics they use, so they often called her Natacha, which I always got a huge kick out of, and I definitely had to tease her about that. Aussie Wombat, we need to get you onto our 100-yard pistol range. That would be fun. I think I've shot 100-yard pistol only, like, maybe twice ever. I don't do that very often. Devin Coger, you ever look into Extrema Ration Knives? No, I have not. Sorry. Oh, I meant to mention this about Facebook earlier. Um, sorry, I sometimes get behind on Facebook because there are a number of people who will send me messages at once. But I generally get to everybody's messages like on a weekly or so basis. Even though I check it daily, they're just a lot of people who spend time on Facebook, so it ends up being a really convenient means of communication for them to just drop me a line. So if I haven't responded to a message you've sent me, don't don't feel offended. I promise I'm not um, avoiding you or ignoring you, and I will get to it. Charger8924, do you ever watch Never Enough Ammo videos? We blitzed one of his videos just last week. So I guess you could say yes. Um, <laughs> Chris, I'd simply call you FOD, or THE FOD, if that's alright. Yeah. Oh gosh, I have plenty of people who call me Fate, which is funny. It's not ever something I thought I'd have as a nickname, but it, it works. You know, one syllable, and, you know, who else do you know called Fate? I get a kick out of it, honestly. I like that one. Uh, Lee Nakasane. Dest, sorry, I didn't mean for the exposure comment to be uncomfortable. I used to be an actor in a friend's short videos back in high school, and I would be bombarded by giggly fangirls. Oh, no, I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't like offended by that or anything. There are just two different ways you could take the word exposure. There are some female channels um, in the firearms world here on YouTube that are interested in more of the other kind of exposure than I am. So that's a whole other subject. And then there's the exposure with which you're, or to which you're referring, of just plain getting your, your face and your name out there. Um, I don't, I can't say I've ever had somebody um, fanboying or fangirling or whatever me, um, at least that I can think of. Yeah. Well, Dad says I have, but... I don't know, I think... I, I have had people who had been, like, nervous to talk to me, if that counts. Which I, I... I get a huge kick out of that because I'm just as nervous to talk to somebody who I don't know as they have been to talk to somebody they recognize, so I thought that was very 
Or I always think that's ironic. Lena Cassane, the giggly fangirls would be asking me for autographs. Um, I think the only- well, you know what, actually, take it back. I have had a couple of people ask for autographs, which I have sent. I put up a picture and autograph it and send it out to them. Just... Bradley, if I can ask Des, what was the price on the popper? No idea! Um, I would go to shootsteel.com and, and look that up. Chris Smith, need to get you out to Indiana to shoot with the Indiana Run and Gun Project. That'd be a bit of a drive, but, eh, maybe someday. If I know, uh, ahead of time and stuff, eh, I wouldn't be out of the, out of the realm of possibility. Alessio Baldi. If you shoot steel in sub-zero temperatures, don't lick it. You may remain stuck to it. Um, yeah, don't worry. Not a problem. I, sh I should be able to avoid that one. Shoot fast bun. It's going to be below freezing here tomorrow. Maybe I should shoot steel to see if it rings better. But I won't lick it. Whew. <laughs> Good. Shorty Brody. Nice one, Alessio. Thing is, if you're not from a cold climate, more often than not, most people have licked frozen poles slash lamp posts slash road signs and sub-zero temps as a kid. I was not one of those kids. Fortunately, I uh, grew up watching the Christmas story, so I know what happens. So I've been safe. Trevor, if it's not raining too bad, I'll be shooting rabbits tomorrow. I'll try not to lick them, though. Oh, my gosh. Plus one and don't lick it. Awful. Awful. Drew Smoke Johnson. Ugh, already it has been an hour. Oh, it has been an hour. Um. Uh, wow, okay. So I guess that means it's time for the Echo D Blitz. Um... Well, first let me bring up YouTube real quick because, oh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. For those of you who haven't joined an FOD Blitz, what I like to do is, as a team, we head over to a YouTube channel that's generally a smaller channel, um, but always a channel that I support and who has supported me in my YouTube endeavor, and so I like to be able to bring us over as a team. Yeah, sometimes it's just one of my friends. Well, that's still somebody who I support, yeah. who supports me. Because, you know, that's what friends do, support each other. Um, one of the things, anyway. So what I like to do is stop over to the channel, pick out a specific video, and we all go as a group and leave a comment. It could be something as simple as FOD Blitz or Destiny Sent Me or something to that effect. Or you could get crazy, creative, silly, whatever, do your own thing. We always end up having some really, like, fun, off-the-wall ones. And I read every single comment out loud, which is part of what's fun for me about it. Uh, the YouTuber that we have chosen, or that I have chosen for our Blitz, is Carrying Cowgirl. And I'm really glad that she missed this week's chat, because sometimes she joins it. And it's so much more fun if I can surprise uh, the YouTuber. And um, the video is... 400 subs, and I want to sub back. So head over to that video by Carrie and Cowgirl, and I will read the comments. Go, go, go! Oh, quick little comment. Chris says, by the way, love the hat. The, um, the FOD, all of the favorite, all of the favorite women in my life, mom, wife, daughter, wear the occasional ball cap. Good work. I love hats. I've got a ton of different hats. I got the uh, military style caps. I have baseball caps. I have, um, I have warm weather hat or cold weather hats that look like animals. They're pretty silly. But anyway, um, I need to bring up that YouTube video by carrying, do do do, carrying cowgirl. Yay! She is such a sweetheart, by the way. She's always um, been very pleasant. Anytime I've had conversation with her. On YouTube or on live stream. Okay, I'm bringing up her 400 subs, which, by the way, is her most recent video. I didn't mention that before. So if you're not there already, go over there. Start dropping some comments. And I will read them. And newest first. And I 
will read your comments. Do 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 do. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for the one of the things I don't or that doesn't work as um, quickly now that uh, Google has decided to integrate the, the Google Plus into YouTube videos is comments don't show up quite so quickly for me. Hmm, I have it. Are you guys visiting the video? So I'm not seeing anything yet. Ah, there we go. We got the first one. Fire of the Greeks. I really wanted to come up with something really witty and cool to put here, but I fell way short. Huffody Blitz! Hey, that works. Showing a little love. And especially... Well, everybody who we've blitzed has, has appreciated it. And I appreciate that you stop uh, stop by somebody's channel and show a little bit of love. You know, it's free for you, and it's just a nice gesture. It's a nice thing to do. So it can be your, like, your fluffy, warm fuzzy for the week. Oh, man, we only have one. What's happening, guys? Timothy John Larson says, I missed the Blitz channel because I was packing up my hunting stuff. Who are we blitzing tonight? We are blitzing Carrying Cowgirl, and her video is 400 subs, and I want to sub back. Ah, Dan Herrer is Fire of the Greeks. Hey, cool. I know a bunch of people are not super fond of the whole Google Plus integration bit. I guess I'm one of the lucky ones I had already done, integrated my, my channel, but, you know. Hey, there we go. Here's a couple more. Chris B says, hashtag FOD Blitz. Just spreading some YouTube love. Devin Coger, FOD Blitz time. Don't run with scissors. <laughs> Solid life advice. Thank you. It's good. Ah, here are a couple a couple more that just updated for me. Oh, fantastic. William Prophet says, You have officially been served an FOD blitz. That sounds like an ice cream or something. I hope that would be tasty. Lutz Mowinski. The FOD blitz has zeroed in on you. You have been blitzed by the FOD army. German division. Gun and knife guy. FOD blitz. Oh, yeah. Getting ready for some interesting comments. Shoot fast fun. You have been FOD blitzed. Grr. Scott Lee Crew 77. You now have more subs than Jared. FOD blitz. Should I be here? Carrying cowgirl. Prepare for the FOD army marching into your channel post haste. You will be blitzed and you will like it. That was silly. Alright. Come on. Update Google. Do your thing. Hey, there we go. Viking Knight 2012. Blitz, blitz, blitz. Brought to you by FOD and all us loyal blitzers. <laughs> Alessio B. Today, I'm not blitzing. Destiny always misses my music references, so to show all my indignation, I'll just sit here on top of the hill with a box of beer watching your assault. If you are hungry, you can come up here after the assault. I brought bacon and sausages. However, because I'm in indignated... <laughs> Is that a word? I've heavily spiced all the meat with super hot peppers. So, if you eat it, you'll be <clears throat> in flames tomorrow. Wow. wow, that's quite indignant. I'm sorry, Alessio. Listen to more, like, techno and rock. Jeez. Schrody Brody. A monkey ready to be shot into space. A space monkey ready to sacrifice himself for the FOD Blitz. I think that definitely counts as one of the more creative or off-the-wall ones. Eric K. My friend, prepare to be invaded by the FOD T-Rex army. FOD Blitz! <laughs> Waffen 40. I love the smell of blitzing in the morning. I got that reference! That reference. I, I understood. That one. Colt Ruger. FOD Blitz in process. progress. You are being invaded by the T-Rex crew. Alright. Update. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. 
Shoot fast fun. Oh, I already read that one. Oh, because it's on the top comments, not newest first. Silly silly. Hey, that's better. Uh, yeah, a bunch of new ones. Um, Max Roof. FOD Blitz Creek. Eric, 2019. You have been blitzed. FOD. Blitz, blitz. Oh, wait, that was blitzed by FOD. Whoops. Brided in 28. I'm here to support awareness of the discrimination to the short armed army. Blitz. There's that username that I can never pronounce. Ad. A chiger. <laughs> My liege and madam, to expostulate what majesty should be, what duty is, what day is day, night, night, and time is time, were nothing but to waste night, day, and time. Therefore, since brevity is the soul of wit, and tediousness the limbs of outward flourishes, I will be brief. Your noble son is mad. Dut, dut, dut. And this is an FOD blitz. Shakespeare edition. Yeah, that was lovely. Mark Parton. We are from the FOD T-Rex army, and we have come to blitz you and sub you back. Bo Cantrell. Sell up! FOD Blitz. Merc in Scorp. Blitz. <laughs> Mr. Junior 510. FOD Blitz. Drew Johnson. The comments above and below were orders by our general deaths. Our orders are being fulfilled, and they are being complete. completed as I press post. Mission complete. FOD Blitz. All right, let me uh, just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, because this is fabulously slow to to update. Sadly. Ah, here we go. French sniper. It is in your destiny to get FOD blitzed. Yeah, I gotta say, my name lends itself to puns quite well. 40 cal cheaper. Prepare yourself for the FOD T-Rex army blitzkrieg. Charge! Well, we'll not risk another frontal assault. That rabbit's dynamite. Eric Cuisson, you have been blitzed by FOD. FOD blitz. Yeah! You guys are rocking this, by the way. Thank you. Woo! Ah, Stephen Hildreth Jr. Hey, how goes it? Hi, Stephen! You haven't joined one of these in ages. Welcome back. Ooh, more comments? Awesome. Well, let me refresh then. They're, they're not showing up on my screen, so I'm just going to hit refresh real quick. So, two more seconds, guys. I'm sorry. And thank everybody, or thank Dad for keeping up on these so I don't miss anybody. Ah, here's one. CJ Wilson just busted my way through the Google Plus barrier to... Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> blitz, blitz, the FOD blitz. Del Reed, hey cowgirl. Love and lollipops, maybe ammunition from the FOD army. You have been blitzed. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, let's see. Tampa Bay Blaster, FOD blitz. Destiny sent me. Dan Baldwin, love Purina. Keep them trigger fingers warm. FOD Blitz. Timothy Larson. Blitzing, blitzing, blitzing. FOD style. Alright. Is there anybody else that I haven't... Oh, I read that one. Yeah, I read that one too. Um... Alright, I think we're good. Let me just refresh one more time. Come on, Google Plus. Please be magic again. Yeah, I think we're Gucci. Fantastic. 
Okay, well then let me take a minute to thank you guys for participating. I really, I really appreciate that you guys help me out with that and I just think it's a really cool thing to do. Plus, it's fun with some of your like ridiculous comments. I absolutely love that. Ah, Stephen Hiltworth Jr. says, Helps to have my own command center, or quote, apartment, as some people call it. How have you been? Busy doing this stuff and shooting, which is um, the way I like to keep it. Up, ah, Scott Messino says, Got to go. Later, peoples. Bye, Scott. See you around. Oh, John O'Reilly says, Hello, hello. First time on here. Woohoo! Everybody say hello to John. Welcome to the live stream. So, bye Scott and hello John. Yay, everybody's saying hello. Thank you. Moon Clipper 45, made it back. How about that? Gone and back all in the same evening. Well, you were pretty fast. We still have another 14 minutes of the live stream, which is pretty sweet. Del Reed says, this is the most fun hour and a half of my week. Thanks, Des. So much fun. Aw, I'm really glad that you guys enjoy it so much, because I totally have fun. I mean, that's why I keep posting these things, but I'm glad. Uh, Trevor says, indignation, anger, or annoyance provoked by what is perceived as unfair treatment. Yes, because Alessio is distraught that I don't get any of his um, song references that he posts for FOD Blitzes. Sorry. <laughs> Lena Kasane says, Damn! The comment section for this video is not appearing on my Mac. Ah. Sorry. I didn't know. Okay. Um... Ugla hell. It's invigorating to participate in a live stream while on the treadmill. No. Oh. Yeah, you think? Yeah. Oh, Dad's recommending I should try a, a live streaming from the treadmill one time. What? I'll put it to a vote. What do you guys think? Plus one for <laughs> for a live stream on the treadmill. What I usually end up doing is uh, watching like shows on Netflix. Cause what's really handy is I have. This little guy right here, my iPad mini, with a fabulous Wi-Fi connection, I stream, I'll watch um, stuff on Netflix. Like, I was watching Doctor Who until I watched all of the episodes that Netflix had, had which made me Whoa, super, super, super sad. Wow, there are a lot of plus ones there. Alrighty. Well, I, I guess I'll have to figure out how to live stream from the... You know what? I think I could do it. Yeah, it would just take a little bit of. It would be a little bit noisy with the treadmill. Yeah, it would be noisy. Is that. I don't know. I guess, I guess we'll figure it out. But. You'd be walking an hour and a half without the treadmill. Well, yeah, I just ran a half marathon this weekend, so um, an hour and a half on the treadmill would is not gonna. It would just, you know, I, it, that, that's not the part that I would worry about. The, the part that I worry about is that you guys would actually hear me and understand what I'm saying and all of that. But, you know, maybe we'll give it a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll see whatever setup it'll take. Al Luck, did you watch the 50th anniversary special? No, so don't say anything about it yet because I need to watch the, the season that preceded that. So, no spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah, so. No less than 10 miles per hour. <laughs> Alessio Baldi, no less than 10 miles uh, per hour. Don't worry. Not a problem. I, just because I can run for a while doesn't mean that I'm fast. Yeah, you'd have to walk. Yeah, I'd have to be, like, walking, because... Or, or like, a really light jog or something. It, it would... If I were just, like, going crazy, then there's no way I could carry on a conversation. Ask, could you run for an hour? Todd could you run for an hour and a half? Well, yeah, um, the half marathon that I did this weekend took me about... Three hours. Like I said, I'm not a fast runner. So, you know. That's... It, it works for me. I could, I, could, I could do that for an hour and a half. Bradley Desk, wasn't one of your first bids from On the Treadmill? Yes, but um, what I did with that was I'll, I'll, I'd start with the jogging and then I'd just clip, would clip video from different parts of the workout. So that way you're not... Because I'll, I'll, I generally exercise for a couple of hours at a time. 
and I figure a two hour long video of me on the treadmill is probably gonna be really boring. So I just, you know, took little different pieces from, from the exercise and you could see my face all red after, you know, I had been working out for a while and whatever. Yeah, not a lot of people look at those videos because those are like three years old. Fringe Sniper says, Happy Thanksgiving! Don't forget to defrost your turkey! <laughs> Lena Kasane, Okay, I had to resort to sending my comment through my iPhone. Little family guy reference that are about peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, jelly! Peanut butter, jelly! Peanut butter, jelly in a baseball bat! I enjoy Peanut butter, jelly time. Yeah, it's peanut butter, jelly time. Oh, man. PB&J sounds so tasty right now. Seriously? Gosh, that sounds really good. I must be hungry. That, and I just really like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. There we go. Bradley says, is it peanut butter jelly time? Peanut butter jelly time. Yes. Well, maybe in, in 10 minutes. Man, we only have 10 minutes left. How crazy is that? John O'Reilly, how about a live stream from the shooting range? That would be sweet. Gosh, you wouldn't be able to hear anything, though. All you'd hear would be gunfire. If I, yeah, if I, maybe if I, like, rented out the range for, like, that hour and a half, maybe that's something we could do. Maybe down, down the road. <laughs> that's my gesture for down the road. It's cool. I'm, I can dance. It's fine. <laughs> Bradley, I'm glad I'm not the only one that got hungry from that. Oh, no, man. PB&J, like, peanut butter and jelly is one of my favorites. I know it's really simple and... I've been eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches since I was, like, you know, in diapers, but they're delicious. Like, I really love peanut butter and jelly. Wait, I missed that comment. Somebody... Ah, uh, here we go, Todd Weigrin. I can barely run to the fridge for a beer. That's the only way I allow myself to, like, have beers after, like, with dinner or whatever, is if I'm, if I'm gonna go run. I gotta, I gotta motivate myself somehow. That is the most difficult thing about exercising, bar none, for me. It's just the motivation to get started with it. Whether it's running or lifting weights or whatever it is that I'm doing that's, um, you know, whatever sport it is that is engaging me. It's just always the getting started. And William Prophet, PB&J rocks! Um, John O'Reilly, the loudest live stream ever. Um, Al Luck says, what about having some guests on a live show at the range? Like Yankee and Hickok, for instance. Hey, that might be something to talk about. Oh, Stephen Hildreth Jr. says, if you live stream from the range, can we throw out drills for you, drills for you to knock out? Yes. That would be fun. That would, all, that would be awesome. I would totally do that. I would try it anyway. I mean, you know. Don't don't have any high expectations for me. I'm not a military service member or a police officer or any you anything. Are a I am a mall ninja. I mean T Rex mall ninja. I'm a tacta ninja. Don't even worry about it. Gosh, that would be a lot of fun if we could figure that out somehow. You know, down the road. Schrody Brody says, beer is never a motivation for me. Dry for six years. Hey, good on ya. I'm, um, well, I just like beer, I guess. I mean, I don't go crazy. I, I'm not a partier by any stretch of, of the word. Um, but, I, I, I don't know, maybe it's, I'm, I'm a Wisconsinite. I, I like my beers. <laughs> Stephen Hildreth Jr., Jr., in the words of Kevin Hart, you gonna learn today. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Jofa Beats, can we toss out exercise drills too? Dest, give me 20 push-ups. <sighs> I think if I did 20 push-ups, I would like, that would be it. Um, remember, T-Rex arms? How am I supposed to do push-ups? <laughs> That's my push-ups, done. <laughs> Ugly hell, I use... I use the motivation mirror to get started with a workout a curve mirror. Oh, that's funny. I have a um, an inspirational photo. Inspiration. Yeah, a thin inspiration, if you will. There's this photo of me from pretty. It wasn't even from that long ago. Where I don't like 
the way my cheeks chub. And I have only myself to blame for it. And you know, I'm not one of those people who's like super caught up on being superficial. But I do have limits of what I feel comfortable with as far as my weight goes. If I get to this certain boundary of how my clothes fit and how I look, I don't like it. So then I do something about it. So to, lately, to get me motivated to get on the treadmill, I look at that picture of myself and I'm just like, I don't want to be that destiny. I want to be the destiny that's like on underneath that destiny. That helps me. <laughs> that helps get me going. Moon Clipper 45, I managed to get myself a cup of coffee and still keep up with the chat. Does that give me a prize or anything? I hereby award you plus two internets. Congratulations. Ooh, plus two. Yeah, plus two. I, I went up from the plus one to the plus two. That's where you are with that. Uh, Stephen Hildreth Jr., three to five second rushes while advancing on a target 100 meters away. This will be awesome oh man moving and shooting is a blast i only get to do it once in a while you know to when i find the range that'll allow me to do that in jazz but it's fun it's a lot of fun and it makes it more exciting too just the fact that i'm moving and i have this purpose it's i like it lena kasane in case i don't get the chance happy thanksgiving to y'all much aloha to y'all and to those who actually shot their turkey i am so green with envy Moon Clipper 45, you like cheese too, don't you, Destiny? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I do eat. I like cheese a lot, especially sharp cheddar. That's my favorite. The one thing that I was, I guess, is most Wisconsin or whatever, if you will, that I found that I enjoy after moving out here is cheese curds. Either just as cheese curds or fried cheese curds. Although fried cheese curds, I can, can't eat as many of them. But they're delicious. Shane Riani. Guinness! Yes, that's my favorite beer. Although, um, I do drink a couple others. Oh, I found something that I like. Uh, I, it's not exactly Irish coffee, but you get, you know, have a cup of coffee and put, like, maybe a shot or so of rum chata. It tastes like horchata. So, um, like rice milk, but cinnamony. And have that in coffee as, the, like, a creamer. Oh my gosh, it's so tasty. I really, really like that. That's not a like, I'm gonna get myself drunk or anything like that. It just tastes really good. Uh, Dan Harrow, running on the beach. Oh wait, no, that, that was Baywatch. Stephen Hildreth Jr., to extrapolate on that, should you ever come out to this neck of the woods, we've got to do some buddy movement drills. Cover me while I move, moving. Get I've only <laughs> get to the chopper. I've only done that like once ever, and it was surprisingly like challenging to to manage making sure I'm not muzzle sweeping anybody, you know, namely the person who's running in front of me. But that is definitely an element to training. That it's just it's interesting, and I got to learn, or I've gotten to learn a a lot more about because I've not ever done it but that one time. That would be something that I'd love to to learn more about. Dan Harrer says, Happy Turkey Day to everyone, especially FOD, NDOD, NBOD, NSOD. I love all these like acronyms that we have. It's awesome. I need like POD, Puppy of Destiny. For Aries. Yes, who is sleeping right now. I love how the one live stream I decide I'm going to bring Ares, that's the one live stream where he decides he's going to be like a play dog and want all sorts of attention to bring toys to me and, and stuff. That was awesome. <laughs> hmm. The unpredictability of animals. That's why he's not in a lot of my videos, because I, I never know what he's going to do. Um... Bradley, paintball is great for shoot and move and cover. Yeah, and airsoft, although that's, well, both of them sting, really. Uh, I went paintballing one time with a boyfriend way back when and his little brother, and I was so mad because uh, his little brother was on the opposite team. He ran up, like, right on me. So, you know, the rules you're supposed to be, if you're within, um, like, re arm's reach of somebody, you're supposed to just say bang or whatever, or shot you, or whatever the rules are for your place. So I said that, bang. And his response? Shoot me point blank in the neck. I'm like, thanks. That's cool. Oh man, I was so mad at him. 
because it hurts, you know, and I had already, I had already done him the courtesy of saying bang instead of shooting the kid, because, you know, he's a kid, too. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna break the rules in the first place, especially one that's in, in place to help prevent injuring someone, but that kid did not do me that kind of the same favor, so we had a discussion about that afterward. Um, alright, let's read another comment here. Eric Kamichik, good night, Destiny. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm always enjoying our live streams. But, oh, speak of the devil, we are out of time. So, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I hope to see you next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. New.livestream.com slash Fated Destiny. Happy Turkey Day to everybody! Thank you for tuning in and chatting with me for the last hour and a half. I had an absolute blast. See you guys on YouTube uh, for the introduction of Faded Destiny 2.0 on Thursday and I'm sure a couple of videos in between. Bye guys!